Hello, my name is Xander, and welcome back to the Season of Twelve Colors. I'm catching up, guys. I'm not too far behind now, I hope. Well, I, I'm already several weeks behind. But I suppose it can't be helped. As I said last time, I am badly organized. So, we are moving on to chapter 6 now. Which, from what I can see, should finish us off for this so far. There we go. <laughs> The afternoon had been sultry. I tossed about, trying to get some sleep. The piece of paper came into my sight once again. If the star star goes backwards, star star could reverse and touch star star. The concussion star star, overlapping star star, a closed zone. I didn't think anyone could make sense of this. I read the last line. Although Star Star, not yet Star Star understood, but Daddy's told me it's good to know Star Star. Daddy will definitely succeed. With the terrible handwriting, it had been the only sentence readable. Who wrote it? When? The letters, the letters were written so clumsily, it reminded me of... Jasmine? Or tangerine. Or both. Da da da. That's a nice picture in the background there. Please, do your own homework. So we live in an age where even kindergarten children have homework to do during summer vacation. My god, what a world. And seriously, shouldn't this be taught in primary school? <laughs> Clutching my sleeves, tangerine clung onto me. Alright, I took the notebook and it had doodles all over it. Wow. Never seen such poor handwriting. I muttered complaints about it when I was helping her with her homework. My handwriting isn't very good. I'm bad at writing. I know what I mean, but no one else can understand. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure whether she meant talking to me or to the character, because that kind of works. I don't know what there is to brag about. Ha. Just for once. I'd be acceptable. After all, we had promised Jasmine we would go play with her after Tangerine finished her work homework. I didn't want to keep her waiting. Because you have a crush on her. I speeded up. Wouldn't it be I sped up? Hmm. <clears throat> as much as there are quite a few grammatical errors, and this it is a translation from a Chinese game, so it's pretty well done, actually. Rain. In the afternoon, rain fell on and off. The heat had gone away a little, but I still couldn't sleep. Yes, the same weather as that day. Ooh, some news got stuck there. happened. The little girl was so scared that she jumped all around and plunged herself in my direction. Hey, would you stop clinging to me already? I couldn't walk. The weather had not been kind to us. Fat raindrops had started to fall without warning. Oh hell. It no longer looked like a good day for hill climbing. I ran towards the direction of home, dragging the little orange girl with me. They were going to see Jasmine. 
Holy shit. The little girl's cry was muffled by the sounds of the rain. I pulled my shirt over her head to protect her from the rain. We ran. There had only been one thing on my mind. I needed to get her home. Fast. Of course, I ended up with a bad cold. Fits of non-stop sneezing. My head felt heavy with dizziness, but what hurt my pride even more? Little Tangerine was perfectly healthy, as always. Was it because she was so young? Or could it be that she was brought up in the countryside? Either way, she told everyone the same thing. My big brother protected me. Well, to be honest, I was a little more than happy. But would you give up tending to me already? I'd appreciate it if I could simply let your mum do it. Hmm. You said Jasmine. Sure, we can go and say sorry to her tomorrow. After all, it's not our fault that it rained. It's you. Eh? The umbrella. What umbrella? Wasn't it over there behind the door? Jasmine. What about her? What? Did she have an umbrella? Perhaps. No? Hey, listen, don't just run away like that. It was a sunscreen umbrella. That girl never listened. And the sad music begins. What happened after that, I could not recall. Or perhaps I just refused to. I ran after her in the rain. It got me a bad fever had to be escorted to the hospital in town, took injections and drip feeding. The whole thing c could have been quite dramatic. Could have killed me, it seemed. Me? I didn't remember a thing, because when I woke up, it was already a few days later. Why is there sad music? I'm suspicious. The pain lived on in my chest. There was nothing I could do. If. I could have done anything. Anything at all. I stared at my palm, tinted with blue ink. There was a word. It was the rain smeared paper that had the letters on my palm. The colour was faint, barely readable. I made it out at last. Time. Time. Time is like a straight line. It only goes one way. The line of time. Linear time. Comparable to strings from a winder. It only stretched in one direction. It would not go backwards. It would never stop to wait. However, would there ever be an exception? Star lines could cling. Star, star, star. For instant, some kind of disturbance, the line bended. What it when star star is different, star star star, in a short period, it was possible to... It went backwards, extended into where the past had been, and brushed past it. Everything bursted out, all of the memories, all the fragments came together, slowly they started to combine into one. Time is like a straight line. It only goes one way, but occasionally, there have been exceptions. As disturbed lines could cling to each other, when timelines in different directions start sinking in a short period, I braced myself up. My head was still burning. Though it couldn't bother me less right now, the fragments were not enough. But there had been one explanation. One possibility. ran out of the door. The rainwashed streets extended before me. The grass blades still had raindrops on them. I climbed the well acquainted hills. It was not far, not far away. Yes, time would never go backwards, even at this moment. I refused to believe anything like that. Though that was clearly nonsense. 
It was only something that made up by my feverish head. It's some incomplete message on a paper plane. It was absurd. But I saw it. The pathway became entirely different. Not compared to the past, different from what I had seen these last few days. I saw it. My own what with my own eyes. It could not have been a mirage or an illusion. It just appeared these last few days. It never belonged here. It did not belong to this time. The time when the girl named Jasmine lived. If only I could find it. Staring from the future and going into the past. She would arrive to what had already happened. If that was was be possible for me as well. The little gay girl named Tangerine. Her figure jumped around in the back of my mind. The girl ran. Image of an orange coloured umbrella. Lost in the rain. If only. If only I could change that. Sudden stop of music. And sad music returns. Surrounded by the grove of trees on all sides. I was lost. What I saw yesterday. The different scenery. It was gone without a trace. I looked around. My head burned. All my strength had left me. I had to lean on a wet tree trunk. Was I not to find it anymore? The place where Jasmine lived? A touch of white flashed in the corner of my eye. That, w that is it was. I believed I had found it. Surrounded by the woods. I skipped right in there, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. She stood in the middle of the clearing. The girl in the white dress, with a smile on her face. She waved at me. She was smiling quietly. But somehow, the smile looked a bit sad. For a moment, I was lost for words. The sunset had coloured her cheeks. I had never seen her look like this. Hey. What could I ask for? What could I say? Was there anything? Anything at all? I could d do I it do to... Do. With a warm smile, just like the golden sunset, Jasmine said softly, Her look was that of a mother, gentle, forgiving. So, her smile soothed me, just like it did then. All this time, all the disorientation and confusion was beginning to calm down. I started to realise what I wanted to say, but it was not enough. Yes, I wanted to help the child to do something to the past, yet... That was still not enough. I hoped the child would be alright. And Jasmine told me what she knew, everything would be alright. That was, that was, that had already happened. That was the past to her. I had answered, I had the answer I wanted all along. Yet I was still not relieved, there was something. And what about you, raising my left hand? Once in a while, you should think about yourself. I knocked her with my knuckles on the forehead lightly. I didn't contact anything though. It was like knocking on air. Hi, you are. As if you didn't hear me. Please fight on, Mr. Rabbit. Despite of everything she went on, 
，一定会成为一位非常出色的人的。Her brightness smiled. Her brightest smile, like a blessing. Hey, would you listen to me for once? I had never choice but to accept. Smiling a bitter smile. 最后呢？ Her profile was starting to fade out. Her voice trailed away. 见到昨天的我的话。The words were a mere whisper, but I heard it clearly enough. <laughs>